Senate Democrats are unveiling what they call some of the toughest ethics reform proposals that this state has ever seen. The move comes just weeks after now former Assembly Speaker Sheldon Silver was hit with corruption charges, the latest in a string of New York legislators to face prison time. And our Capitol reporter, Kimberly Howard, is live in our Albany newsroom now to lay it all out for us. And Kimberly, a lot of these proposals I know center on campaign finance reform, and they think that's the way to go, huh? That's right, Liz. Just take a look at some of these here. There's a pitch to drastically reduce the amount of money a corporation can donate to a campaign and a proposal to prohibit the use of taxpayer money for attorney fees and litigation expenses, even if a public official is acquitted or a case is dismissed. Campaign funds couldn't be used to pay for criminal legal defense either. Now, Democrats admit it might be tough to gain the support for some of these reforms from their Republican counterparts. Arrest after arrest has shattered the public's faith in state government. Most recently, the arrest of now former Speaker Sheldon Silver. He's accused of lining his pockets with millions of dollars in outside income, much of it from kickbacks and bribes. Obviously, everyone is innocent until proven guilty, but if you lay it out, where did where was the problem? The problem was that currently in the in the legislature, you were allowed to do that sort of thing. Earn outside income, that is, included in a bundle of bills pitched by Senate Democrats and geared toward legislative ethics reform, an outside income cap set at 15 percent of a lawmaker's legislative salary. That works out to about $12,000 a year. Senate Dems are also looking to prohibit certain kinds of outside work like law or investment advising that can lead to conflicts of interest. But this minority conference admits they may be in for an uphill battle. We've now done this press conference three years in a row. And unfortunately, our colleagues, uh, our Republican colleagues refuse to act. Several Republicans we spoke with were on board with several of the proposals. George Amador especially likes the idea of retroactively stripping pension benefits from a lawmaker convicted of a felony. The lawmakers uh, cannot sit in jail and collect tens of thousands or a hundred thousand dollars of taxpayer dollars in their pension. But among the proposals, nothing about term limits or reforming the per diem system. Republicans will want their say before anything makes it to the governor's desk. I'm sure there'll be some reforms that uh, we can agree on. And speaking of the governor, he's laid out his own ethics reform plan as well, one that touches on campaign finance, much like the Democrats' plan, but it's different in that it looks to alter the per diem system. It's also tied to the passage of the budget. Coming up at 6.30, whether lawmakers think that ultimatum is necessary. Live in the Albany Newsroom, Kimberly Howard, CBS 6 News.